Shut up and sit down. Natural resources AC. AC or natural resources for students and children in English. Human life is unimaginable without natural resources and it is precise because of these resources that any form of life is sustained on this planet with comfort. Natural resources are anything and everything obtained from nature and used by us starting from elemental air, water and sunlight to even organic elements like fossil fuels, minerals, timber etc. Natural resources that are obtained from living organisms or are eventually formed because of living organisms are called biotic elements like forests, birds, animals, fishes or other marine organisms, fossil fuel because they are formed because of the decay of organic materials etc. Natural resources that refer to the non-living elements of nature are called abiotic resources. Examples of abiotic resources are sunlight, wind, tide, soil, minerals, etc. Natural elements are present everywhere around the world but not equally distributed. Humans have learned efficient ways in which they can use the natural resources present in their region for their benefit. Like in India, a variety of soil and humid weather has allowed the prosperous growth of agriculture. The areas of the country that are surrounded by sea eventually developed advanced skills in fishing. Some examples of how we use our natural resources are using of water for drinking and production of hydroelectric power. Sunlight is necessary for plant growth and also providing us heat and vitamins. Plants are our primary source of oxygen and food. Coal is used for electricity production and as a fuel for vehicles etc. With trade and commerce came globalization and now we are dynamically evolving to find ways in which we can modify methods of using natural resources to create products to serve us better. But we have to remember that not all resources are unlimitedly present in our ecosystem. If we are not careful about the consumption of these resources, then they will eventually exhaust, then we might not have an alternative to survive without those. The resources like solar, wind, hydro, geothermal and biomass are called renewable resources because they are present abundantly in the world and are self-replenishing in nature. And the resources like fossil fuels, iron, fresh water, coal, nuclear elements etc. that took million years for the formation and can eventually perish cannot be reproduced are called non-renewable resources. Hence, it is essential to preserve resources so that they can be present in the future for us and our succeeding generations use and benefit. Everyone needs to know natural resources because our survival depends on those. We also need to educate and make people aware of the hazardous effect of the absence of these resources. 10 lines on natural resources AC. With the increase in population, there is a higher demand for natural resources. Economically richer countries tend to spend or waste more natural resources than poorer countries. With industrialization, the demand for natural resources has skyrocketed the charts from comparing them to the time before. Recycling one ton paper can save almost 4000 kilowatt of energy, 17 trees and 2 barrels of oil. The three R's that help save natural resources are reduce reuse and recycle. The energy developed from renewable resources is the fastest growing energy source and it is estimated that by 2040 the renewable energy will generate an equal amount of energy as coal and natural gas. Using renewable resources responsibly can reduce the emission of several greenhouse gases that are typically released from fossil fuels. Despite being covered by 70% of water, the earth is less than 1% of the water that is consumable and available for human use. The production of renewable energy from wind, sunlight, geothermal heat, waves, etc. does not require the use of much fresh water. It is estimated that the global water demand for manufacturing from 2000 to 2050 is to increase by 40%.